Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog. It has been so long and I'm really, really sorry, but honestly, it's been so busy. And for some reason, I've like kind of lost motivation to film, which is weird because I absolutely love it. It's my hobby. So I've decided to pick up the camera. We're really not doing much other than like packing little bits here and there and like cleaning what I can. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll bring you along with me and I can give you a few updates like during the day uh, but yeah really there's not been too much going on but I can't stand to be away from YouTube for too long so I'm gonna video today anyway and take you along with us Tyler and Devon are just eating pasta is it nice la, 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 la. <laughs> Wrong, honey. We just want to cuddle. <laughs> we just want to cuddle. Mama, mama. Oh. So Devon's learned how to kiss in South Africa. They say give ba. They say give ba. Give ba. Oh, then you got your shoes. So I'm going to show you like what we've packed so far. Um. Literally, these are all the boxes that my brother-in-law got us. So many. Um, so I've packed up most of Devon's toys. I still left like both of his toy boxes out um, so that he can play. And then in the spare room, we've got washing drying. Stuff is everywhere. I cannot wait to have a nice <laughs> organized house again. But yeah, so we've also got these boxes in the spare room. So today I really am going to crack on and get more done. But we've had a bit of a mare. Um, we've got a wedding um, next weekend. And I ordered my dress online. But because we didn't know if we were going to be here or the new house, we've been ordering stuff to Tyler's parents' house. Um, so then I ordered a dress. It didn't fit. So now I've got another dress that I think has um, arrived there. So we're going to go to Tyler's mum and dad's. See Nan and Papa? Say Papa. Are you excited to see Papa? Papa. And Nan? Nana. And Papa? Nana. And Papa? Papa. <laughs> He loves going to Nana Papa's, so we're just going to go there this morning, um, have a bit of a calm before the storm. So yeah, apparently something has arrived, so hopefully it's my dress for the wedding. Put him. You want to bring your ball? Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Clever boy. Come on then. It's, oh. <laughs> His papa got him this fuzzy ball that he loves, so he can bring that. Where are we? Where are we? Where? Nana Papa's. Papa. <laughs> papa. So we just got back. My hair's in absolute state. These are the baby hairs. This is the growth. It is ridiculous. They're so long now. Um, so I got Tyler a phone case, so that came, it's this, very cool and it's got this little thing where you can like stand the phone up and I got myself a phone case, this came the other day though, like a nice little glitter one, cute. I got some... Razors. These are the ones that I do my face with. Um, okay. What's wrong, baby? Oh, my baby is well and truly ready for his nap. Sorry, Devon needed a nap and he needed it now. <laughs> so, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, the last thing that I got was my dress for the wedding and I really, really hope that it fits. Um, I got it from Shopo, which I've ordered from them before 
and I really like their dresses. So let's see. It's just all blue to the floor with a split. So yeah, I will have to try it on and see how it looks. Okay, you can't really see in the mirror, but it kind of fits. The straps are adjustable, which I didn't realize at first. When I first put it on, I was a bit worried because the um, this part was like down here. But yeah, it is pretty nice. It's very long. I've got um, hem tape, so I might be able to hem that and make it. I will be wearing heels, um, but yeah, it's got this cute split there. So yeah, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna make me and Tyler a try. We've got this one this time, and it's really good. Um, so today I called up our like uh, gas company and our internet company and all of that and I've changed the address of all that so that's one thing that is done. Um, the other thing I need to do, I actually want to call the place where we're picking the keys up from and make sure that we can definitely pick up the keys when we think that we can. Um, so I'm going to do that as well. What's the time? Well, it's only two o'clock, so they will still be open. Um, okay, I'm in our ensuite and I'm going to. This cupboard is full of um, like toiletries, but I know that some of them, or well, most of it, I'll probably want to just throw away. So I'm going to tackle that now while Devin's asleep. Okay, I've kind of given up doing the whole like folding the box into like to close it. I'm just going to take it. It takes way too long because I just for some reason can't work out how it's supposed to go. So yeah, obviously I've been so slack with my videos and um yeah i mean i absolutely love doing it. and i absolutely love filming and editing it's literally my like my hobby it's my my thing um yeah and this week i've noticed <clears throat> that my subscribers have started going up and i'm getting more watch time um, from some of my older videos so i promise you i am you know i'm not giving up i am like pushing through this um this funk but um in december i do plan on doing vlogmas i don't know if i will vlog every single day um but i'm gonna try and do like monday to friday like every single day monday to friday i'm really gonna try and now i've said it now so i kind of have to do it um but yeah i'm gonna try my best to do vlogmas i've planned i've planned all the, the videos i've got a big list of videos that i'm going to be doing but the only thing is we are going away for christmas we're going camping so i don't know depending on like the wi-fi there but i don't think i'm going to be wanting to bring my laptop and edit vlogs while I'm camping. I just can't imagine doing that, especially when I've got Devon like running around. So I might have to like pre-film some videos or end Vlogmas like just before we go. We go at the very end of the, uh, the month. So yeah, we'll see, but I'm gonna try my best and yeah, I'm really excited for that. So I can't get over my hair, um, but I wanted to ask you if anybody has any recommendations on a nice perfume. I really want a really nice perfume that lasts and um, smells really nice, but I don't want it to be too sweet. I want like, you know that like shower, fresh, like clean scent. That's what I want. I really want a nice, fresh cleaning, <laughs> cleaning. I really want a fresh, clean smelling perfume. But I don't know. I think I heard of um, light. Is it called light blue? I don't know. Something blue, um, which my cousin Holly uses. Um, I should actually smell it. But yeah, I want one. I think that one's like a fresh smelling one. That's that is definitely what I'm after. 
these are the face razors that I was using. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. Emco Beauty. But um, yeah, there's three blades in there and they're blunt now. That's why I've got these ones. But these are the ones that everybody on YouTube uses. So I want to give these a go. But yeah, I use them to shave all my peach fuzz. And since I've started doing it, I feel like it's the best thing ever. It makes your makeup go on so nice and smooth and it makes you look more like, I know it just makes your face look airbrushed, which I love. Hi guys, so it's the next day and we're all just chilling, drinking tea. And um, I thought I'd call the, um, the new property managers to just say like, they've got two offices. So I wanted to make sure that our keys were, you know, we knew which office the keys were at and so that we could be all prepared for our move tomorrow so that I could pick up the keys at 9am and we can just get cracking. And um, so I called them and they said, oh no, your lease doesn't start until the 30th. The 30th is Monday and that's when we're giving the keys back to this house. So it doesn't start on the 30th, they're wrong because we've, we've signed our lease and it is the 26th. Um, so now I'm stressed thinking like what is going on with them like I, I don't know but I've emailed and I've sent like copies of our agreement that we signed and everything I think at first when we first first said that we wanted the house I said the 30th but then um, we hadn't signed anything at that point and uh, Tyler was away at the time so I said oh, I'll just check with my partner and then I'll let you know she said yeah take time um, let us know and then I said, yep, no, 26 instead. So she said, yep, that's absolutely fine. She resent through all of the paperwork. So we hadn't signed anything by this point. So she resent through everything and it did say the 26 and stuff. So we checked it and we signed it. And that was, you know, we didn't sign anything until we knew that the dates were right. So I don't know, but now we're stressing. Well, I'm stressing, I don't know about Tyler, but I'm stressing, hopefully they can sort it out because I spoke to the receptionist. she was like, yeah, well the house isn't even ready. What do you mean the house isn't ready? So, uh -uh. One day to sort they got one day <laughs> to sort the house out because we booked our moving van and everything. Can they ever do this to us, stress us out? I said, we're gonna say to them, like we're literally gonna be homeless. If you can't give us this house, we're gonna be homeless. We're gonna, we're gonna have to sleep on the street and we have a baby. How could you do this? But yeah, I'm gonna give the lady an hour. I've sent her a couple of emails. I'm gonna give her an hour and then I'm gonna ring her again. We'll get it sorted. But yeah, I'll keep you updated on what happens. Okay, so I just got off the phone to the property manager and um, I think she, they did mess up, but the way she was talking was as if, so I was like, hey, what's going on? And she said, no, the house is ready. You can move in. But um, what happened was she went there for an inspection yesterday and the walls are like what the previous tenants like patched up the like dinks in the wall and um, it needs to be like repainted because like they did a bad job or whatever. Um, the lawns aren't up to scratch um, and it hasn't like they haven't had a cleaner come round, um, which I think she did mess up and she was just using that as an excuse. But I was like, oh, well, that's fine. We're happy to have a cleaner come. You know, as long as we can move in, we're happy to have the cleaner then come. You know, a gardener come. So, panic over. My heart was racing when I thought, like, there was going to be a big mess up. But, yeah, it's sorted. We are still able to get the keys tomorrow and move in. So, whew. Right, I've just taken the curtains off the windows. I'm going to wash them. And I just put all of our, like, the shower curtain and the the floor like bath mats and stuff in the wash so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna do our grout i got a grout brush from bunnings so hopefully it doesn't take me so long um but yeah i really need to get on and do that now Okay, I've put some clothes on now, um, but yeah, I'm gonna get started on the grout. So it's not been that long since I cleaned the grout last. It was probably like um, maybe three weeks ago when I gave it like a proper good scrub. Um, but so before I was using the Audi Dyson, which worked really good, but I think this grout is a bit, um, it's a bit far gone. And the, um, no matter how much I scrubbed it with that, it was still like had a bit of a stain to it. I think it's quite like, 
and no like porous now but yeah so um it's it's all right but i'm just gonna go over it with my grout my grout brush and bleach but yeah this is how it's looking so you see how it's like kind of yellowing there but like here where the shower curtain's been hang on can you see here and here is really bad so yeah now that i've unclipped the shower curtain i can really get in there i'm going to take all that down and really give it all a good scrub the floor i can't use bleach because this grout isn't actually supposed to be white it's like um like a gray color so i will use the dye sand for that but yeah i'm going to use bleach for here I'm so sorry if this is the most boring vlog ever, but this is the grout brush I got and I'm actually really excited about it. So yeah, I'm going to open this now and get started. Okay, I'm going to film this bit just so that I can satisfy your soul. Here you go. Ready? Boom. Like new. Was that nice? Okay, I'm going to do this bit now. Beautiful. So yeah, I'm just going to do that to everything. Now I'm using the dye sand to do the grey grout and it's coming up really really nicely. I love this stuff. Okay, we're looking pretty clean. I'm just squidging and I'm gonna tell Tyler that he needs to squidgy when he showers tonight. Otherwise I'm gonna have to kill him. Finally our main shower's done. The spare shower, I've never used it, Tyler's never used it. Um, it got used when my parents were staying here. Basically, the grout is perfect. I'll give it a little wipe over, but it hasn't been used in a year. Um, so I'll just give it a little dust and a wipe over. So that's good, the main bathroom is done. The bath is what Devin uses, so I'll definitely need to clean the bath of the other bathroom. But yeah, I feel like most is done now. So we ended up um, going with Tyler's parents and Tyler's dad bought a car. So really, we haven't done too much today. Um, and we got Domino's for dinner. <laughs> Devin, um, I'm just running his bath. I was giving Devin his pizza at his high chair and then he threw a bit on the floor. Uh, so I, I took him out of his high chair, went to take the washing off the line and I caught him underneath his high chair eating the pizza again. He kills me. Oi! And now he's walking around the house with a pizza. Probably getting sauce everywhere. Making a mess. Making a mess. You're naughty. Woody, if you want to eat pizza, just sit in your high chair. He didn't want it when he was sitting in his high chair. I've just cleaned this couch, eh? Hey. You're naughty. <laughs> <laughs> You're naughty. <laughs> huh? That pizza was so nice. My Domino's order is just the Simply Cheese, but with barbecue base and stuffed cheesy crust. Oh, my <coughs> and my baby likes it too. It's yeah. Peppa Pig. It's Peppa. Peppa. Can you say chicken? Oh, okay. Yeah. Say chicken. <gasps> oh my gosh. Hi guys, so it's currently the next day. The days are going so fast, I can't even believe it. Devon wants his breakfast and he wants it now. So today is Thursday and Tyler has gone to pick up the keys. His dad, as I said, bought a car yesterday. So they're going to pick that up and the place where we're getting the keys from is like down that way. So that's the plan. I was gonna go and then I was like, well, there's not really much point because he's gonna then, it's like an hour away. 
um, and he already did that drive yesterday and I mean he was okay but you know it's quite far with a toddler so we're just gonna stay here I'm gonna feed him and stuff and start to box up more more bits um, Tyler borrowed oops Tyler has borrowed a ute off of his friend, which is really kind of his friend to lend us. So we are probably gonna get most stuff moved into the new house today. Like everything bar our like beds and big furniture. Um, but yeah, all of our boxes and stuff will be able to get to the new house. Uh, we've got the moving van, the actual big van coming. Uh, well, we're picking it up tomorrow. Yeah, so we're picking up the actual moving van tomorrow. So we are gonna sleep here again tonight. Um, Cause yeah, we won't be able to like move our beds and his cotton stuff um, until we have the van. We're planning on not dismantling stuff, like if we don't have to, um, just so that we can move it straight in and not have to worry. So that's that, but at the moment, I'm just going to give him his breakfast. I'm going to run around and try and box up some more stuff, uh, just whatever I can. And then, yeah, it's only half 7 a.m. and it's Thursday. So Tyler shouldn't be too long. I mean, it's an hour drive, an hour back. He'll probably be yeah, a couple of hours, but then at least Devin can have his nap and I can get on um, and I can also clean a little bit as well. So that's the plan. I will you know, pick up the camera whenever there's something semi-interesting going on. But really, it's not exciting. I'm just putting things in boxes and waiting. So yeah, I don't know. There'll be more to come. I and mean, we at least later we'll have the keys um, so I can give you a little sneak peek of the new house. So that's exciting. But yeah, I'll speak to you in a bit. I um, I had to organize, excuse the hair, my bun is like on the side. Um, I had to organize to cut off our like you know, gas and electric and all that stuff. And um, this morning, just to add to the drama, Tyler's like, oh my gosh, you've turned off the water too early. There was no water like coming out of the tap. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding? Um, but then it started working two seconds later. And the water isn't like, I think that's covered under the rent thing. Um, I didn't have to do anything about water. So yeah, that would have been the bloody icing on the cake, that would have, the amount of dramas we've had. Devin loves this potato show. It's so funny, I don't know if you've have seen it, but it's like an animation. But they've just obviously gotten these random kids to just talk a load of wa waffle, and they animate it. But some of the things that the little kids come out with is hilarious. Go foodie, go foodie, go foodie. Oh, oh, woo! to see whether you are a success. <laughs> okay, so Tyler managed to get the keys um, and we've loaded up the Jeep and the Ute. So Tyler's driving the Ute and I'm driving the Jeep with Devon. Um, and we're on our way to our new house. So yeah, our plan is to like go there, suss it all out, decide like what we want to go where um and then yeah do that like before we start carrying everything in so we know like where we're carrying stuff um but yeah we packed up the cars as much as we could just so that it's not a wasted trip um but yeah i'm so excited so yeah we're on our way now it's only 15 minutes from our home um so yes i'm excited so we've got the two utes and we've packed them up and the jeep and we are heading to the new house. We went there earlier and it was dirty. So I think what has happened is our property managers of the new place, um, they obviously didn't have it ready in time, which she did say yesterday, but I didn't know it'd be to that extent. So I had to go and like sweep and, and stuff. So um, yeah, we packed some stuff there, but now we're going to take the rest. Yeah. Um, so on our way to pick up the moving van, it's like a four-ton lorry. Um, I call it a lorry, I don't know. It's a truck. Um, but yeah, we just stopped at Hungry Jack's to get some breakfast. And with the 
there was like a meal, it's five dollars, you get a cheese toasty and a coffee. So I got cheese toasty for me and Devon. Um, but then obviously Tyler can have the coffee. She goes, um, how many sugars for the for the coffees? And Tyler went, Well, are they sachets? And she said, Yeah. And he was like, Oh, we'll just give her six then please. And she put six sugars in each coffee. So now I'm drinking a six sugar coffee, but it actually tastes really good. So. so it worked out. I kept him in his pajamas because he always naps at about nine o'clock, and it's like nine o'clock now. So, but yes, hopefully we are able to finish our move today. I, well, we don't really have a choice; we have to. Um, but definitely our beds will be moved today so we'll be sleeping at the new house tonight yesterday we had the two utes and this car and we managed to move so much stuff like most of our like all of our bits in boxes is all at the, the new house now and that's why we had to get breakfast because um, all our food got packed up so yeah i'll show you the truck when we get it oh my gosh tyler is <laughs> reversing this giant truck um but yay we've got it now so hooray hooray devon is loving the empty room aren't you is it fun yay <laughs> this is our spare room um tyler's just dismantled the bed and taken well we took all of the clothes and stuff out yesterday so this is our first official empty room Bye! You'll have to ask me where is our coffee machine? Where is that? I know. We are empty! My baby's room. <gasps> Hi guys, excuse my red mouth. I had to like scrub my um, lipstick off. But we are in our new house finally. I'll give you like a sneak peek. <laughs> We're currently on the floor on a mattress because um, it's late and Tyler can't find the Allen key for the bed. And I was like, mate, just put the mattress on the floor. We're sleeping on the floor. So, yes, we've just had our shower. Devon went down, well, he was a bit overtired, so he didn't go down nicely. But once he was asleep, he's been asleep now for like. A few hours um, so I'm really hoping that he doesn't feel you know he doesn't wake up in the night and think oh my gosh where am I I put his room back pretty much exactly the same as it was so I'm really hoping that he stays asleep but yes we are finally in our new house and we had so much help from friends and family so it made it so much easier um, but yeah there's still stuff everywhere so it'll take a few days to unpack but that's fine as long as we're out of the old house then um all is good so yes this concludes the moving vlog um sorry i didn't get to show you much of the house it was just chaotic i've only just picked up the camera now and it's like late so yeah i'll show you the new house in some following videos but yeah that's it for the moving vlog thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye